Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight I'm comparing these two tiny bottles of water. First up is Dream Water Snoozeberry. This is a sleep aid water. Next up is Oral IV Natural Hydration. It's a two ounce shot. And these are both really small. In my last water review, I did Bloom Honey Water and I mentioned how small that bottle was. These are even smaller. The Snoozeberry water was $5 on eBay. I actually found out later that it's two dollars on amazon so i overpaid but this is probably ounce per ounce probably the most expensive water i've ever done this is only two and a half ounces so five dollars for two and a half ounces that's really expensive for water this next one was from salacious drinks three dollars and 49 cents i kind of have a complaint with salacious drinks this is three dollars and 49 cents for one bottle they also sell a 12 pack for $41.99. So their 12 pack is more expensive per bottle than just buying individual bottles. I think that's kind of weird. Normally when you buy in bulk, it's cheaper, but Salacious Drinks charges more per bottle when you buy in bulk. So you probably think, oh, these two look really similar. These must be like identical bottles. They both serve different purposes. This one's supposed to like help you fall asleep at night. This one's supposed to help you stay hydrated and like stay focused. So they're kind of opposite. This is like for daytime, this is for nighttime. Here's how small they are next to a regular size bottle of water. So this little one would actually take about eight of these to fill one of these. This is two ounces, this is 16 ounces. And so I took out my uh, digital caliper and measured these. The Oral IV, is 95 by 36 millimeters and the sleep water is 112 millimeters by 37 millimeters so let's start off with the dream water this was originally on the show shark tank where people pitch business ideas and they uh you know get funding for their businesses you know they sold 51 percent of the company for about four hundred thousand dollars and yeah, I'm a fan of Shark Tank and it's a cool show and uh, they were approved. And so this is like a real product. It has real ingredients in it that are proven to actively work. This has GABA, melatonin, and it has 5-HTP. And those are like proven to help you sleep. They're like scientifically proven. 5-HTP is basically the same as tryptophan, you know, the chemical in Turkey that helps you fall asleep. And you know, there's lots of, lots of reviews of people using this and actually helping them fall asleep and this is like you know proven to actually work the oral, oral iv though has a lot of claims that a lot of people are skeptical of and a lot of people are saying are not true oral iv claims to be a biocharged solution utilizing known trace minerals that are chosen and modified to optimize how your body utilizes water and electrolytes and i was watching some youtube videos about this product from the company and they disabled the comments for those videos. That's usually a really bad sign that people are leaving comments disproving their claims. And so they end up disabling the comments. You know, if you are 100% honest with people and you're selling a truly good product, usually you don't disable the, pro the, the comments on the videos. So that's, that's kind of a, you know, a red flag there that they disable the comments. There are several positive reviews for this on YouTube. But most of those positive reviews, at the end of the video, they try to sell you it. Oral IV works excellent in those particular situations. Oral IV, available at moderntactical.online.com. And they are connected to the product in some way and they profit from you wanting to buy it. Those are the positive reviews. The negative reviews seem to have nothing to financially gain giving a negative review to it. So I tend to trust the negative reviews on this more than the positive reviews because they're just not selling anything. They have nothing to gain by lying about it. All their claims seem to be doing the same thing as just regular tap water, you know? They claim that they help battle hydration, dehydration. They claim to be all natural. They claim to have no sugar. They claim to uh, have zero calories. Guess what else has all that stuff? Water. They say that uh, it'll help end headaches. They say that this will help you know, fight muscle cramping. Guess what else does that? Water does that too. Just regular tap water. You know, it's all their claims. 
tap water does the same thing. So, a lot of people were saying that the people who did have positive effects were just having the placebo effect, where, you know, you tell people that it's going to help you, they believe it does, and then so that's just what a lot of people were saying is that they were having the placebo effect. And other people were saying the positive effects you're having is just from drinking water. <laughs> because if you look at the list of ingredients on this, all it lists is uh, purified water. <laughs> and then in, if you look at the nutritional information, it says that it has a proprietary blend of 20 milligrams of uh, just some proprietary blend. But the company doesn't really say what the proprietary blend is in this. And it has five milligrams of sodium, but they, they're not really clear on what is in there. And that's also usually kind of a bad sign. If a company doesn't tell you, like th this company says exactly what's in here, and you can look it up and it's like, oh, okay, it's proven to work. This company just doesn't really tell you what's in it. An Amazon review says it's pretty much just tap water. Like there, There's lots of people writing these long articles about how this is snake oil and it's, it's not real. It's like, it's just tap water. And one of the blogs I was reading actually tested the water, tried to find out what's in it, and like, like did scientific testing to see what's in this water. And at the end of their blog, it says, in summary, we are skeptical about the product before. That, skept that skepticism has now bloomed into full distrust. Our test results combined with the sleight of hand corporate structure, unsubtle attempts to discredit us, and the insane level of hyperbole, quackery, there is no doubt in our minds. You would be doing yourself a huge disservice by relying on this product to do anything other than provide you with an extra 15 milliliters of tap water at the low price of $183 per liter. Apparently this product has been around for several years and there's just so many people writing articles about this and calling it snake oil and so many people debating whether it helps you in any way or not. And in my opinion, just based on the couple hours I spent researching this, I say it, it, it tends to look like it's snake oil. I have not even tasted this yet. I don't know, you know, how it would affect me, but based on the research I've done, it looks like it's snake oil. So let's open these up and do a taste test. They both have similar packaging, actually. I don't like that the dream water, you can see the bottom, it's not clear. So that makes me think it's not really a water. But just to be clear, though, I'm going to decide a winner, and the winner is going to be ba is going to be based on the taste of it, not how it actually affects your body. So this has a smell to it. It smells like Kool-Aid, kind of. This water is clear, which is actually good. I, I would do a pH test of these waters, but normally I use a small amount of water to do the pH test, and I would end up using the whole thing. And this is probably going to be one of the quickest water reviews I've ever done, because it's going to be all gone in one big gulp. It tastes like a swimming pool with a little bit of mint. A little like, like salty like a swimming pool, you know, and then a little bit of, a couple drops of mint in it. It doesn't taste like water though. It's it's like a minty gum slash pool water taste to it. This tastes like grape juice. Okay, so I'm just gonna say this. The winner is the oral, oral IV water. Just because in my water reviews for my channel, I pick the winner mainly based on the taste. And this one tastes better, it tastes more pure, it tastes more like water. And I'm not saying this is a better product to buy, but if you're going only on the taste, this is the winner. So congratulations, Oro IV, you're moving on to the next round. And here's a bonus water, just to make sure this is an official episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.